Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to take another look at permutations and combinations. And in this case, we're going to do both, find the permutations and the combinations of this special case here. We have a sample space of five colors. This blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And so we're going to do this five times. We're going to first find the number of colors that can be rearranged in five spaces, then in four spaces, then in three spaces, then in two spaces, then in one space. And we're going to do it both for the number of combinations and then the number of permutations for this particular example. And then you can see how the numbers change. It helps you understand a little bit more about what combinations and permutations are. All right, so let's start with the number of combinations of five colors in five spaces. So we use this equation right here. And so we can say that the number of combinations, when we have five colors and five spaces, that's equal to five factorial, divided by five minus five factorial times, and that would be five factorial. All right. Now, five minus five factorial, that's zero factorial by definition. Zero factorial is equal to one. And so therefore, we have five factorial divided by five factorial, factorial which is equal to one. So there's only one combination in which you can take five colors and put them in five spaces. So how many permutations are there? Because now you can rearrange them. The same five colors can be re rearranged in a number of ways. So therefore, we use that equation. And so for five spaces, we have the permutation, number of permutations, five and five, which is equal to, now remember, when we put five here, that's five minus five, that's zero plus one, which is one. So we need to go all the way down to one which means it's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is basically 5 factorial, and that would be equal to 120. There's 120 different ways in which you can take 5 colors and rearrange them in 5 spaces. So now we have 4 spaces for part B, so we have the number combinations, 5 colors, 4 spaces, that is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial, now, 5 minus 4 factorial is 1 factorial, which is 1. And 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial, remember, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 gets canceled out by this, and you're left with a 5. So this gives me 5. Over here, the number of permutations with 5 and 4. Notice, if we put a 4 there, 5 minus 4 is 1, plus 1 is 2. So we end at 2. So this becomes 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, and that's equal to... Well, it looks like, again, 120. So even with only four spaces and five different colors, the number of permutations did not change. That's kind of interesting. I get the same number. So you have one less space. You still have the same number of permutations. That's because you always have one left out. So it doesn't matter if it's in a space or left out and have four spaces left. The number of permutations stays the same. OK, now we try three spaces. So we have five colors, three spaces. That is the number of combinations is going to be five factorial divided by five minus three factorial times three factorial. So now simplifying this, this gives you five factorial uh, divided by two factorial times three factorial. And the way you can take a look at that and see how that's, that, uh, that simplifies, you can say, well, this is equal to five times four times three factorial divided by two factorial times three factorial. And now you can see that the three factorials cancels out. And now we have five times four divided by two, and the four and the two cancel out. This becomes two. And finally, we can see that we have 10 combinations if there's five colors and only three spaces. If there's five colors and four spaces, there's five combinations. Five colors and five spaces, there's one combination. So the number of combinations goes up as you have less spaces. It's kind of interesting. Now let's see how many permutations we have. So now we find the permutations with five colors and three spaces. That's equal to, now you see that's five times four times three. Because the last term, five minus three is two plus one is three. So we stop at three. And so this would be equal to 20 times three or 60 permutations. All right, next we're going to try for two spaces. So we have the combination, number of combinations with five colors and two spaces, which is equal to five factorial divided by five minus two factorial times, that would be two factorial. So this can now be written as five times four times three factorial divided by, this would be three factorial times two factorial. And of course, this cancels out again. 
n4 divided by 2 factorial, remember 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so this goes to 1, this goes to 2, and again we have 10 possible combinations. So 5 colors and 3 spaces, or 5 colors and 2 spaces, you have the same number of combinations. For permutations, 5 and 2, so this is equal to 5 times 4. Another way you can think about it is notice that when you have 5 and 5, you start at 5, you go down, and you'll have 5 terms, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 and 4, you start from 5, and you only have 4 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 3, you only have 3 of them. 5 and 2, you only have 2 of them. So it's another way of quickly seeing what the multiplication looks like. So in this case, 5 times 4 is 20. So if you have 5 colors and 2 spaces, there's 20 permutations. And finally, down to 1 space, the number of combinations, when you have 5 and 1, 5 colors, 1 space only, this is equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. So this is equal to, that becomes 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 1. The 4 factorials cancels out and you're left with simply 5. That means if you have 5 colors, 1 space, you can put 1 color in at a time. 5 spaces means 5 combinations. How about permutations? Permutations is 5 and 1, and so again, it looks like the same thing. There'll be 5, which is equal to, well, just 5. It's meaning there's only 5 ways you can take 5 colors and put them in one space, no matter how you can rearrange them, because you only have one spot there. So therefore, the number of combinations and the number of permutations will be the same when there's only one space left. So this, again, gives you some insight into the difference between uh, combinations and permutations. That's how we do that.